So we are on kind of a time limit, not really an in-game time limit or mechanically, it's a real life time limit because we are definitely getting really close to the release of the new Total War 3 Kingdoms DLC Mandate of Heaven. Um, I actually already have access to it and I'm I'm not sure if I'll have a video up before this episode or after this episode, um, but yeah, make sure you check that out. However, I really, really, really want to get this campaign finished before Mandate of Heaven releases on Steam because then my game will auto update and it won't be able to flip back and forth between the DLC and the base game and I really don't want anything uh, to change in this base game. I doubt anything will break but there's new units and all kinds of stuff and I just don't want anything to happen to this game because it's really just a Three Kingdoms playthrough. So that being said I'm going to do my best to play much faster than I normally do because I, I know I'm a pretty slow player um, and we're just going to focus on getting these fights done and finishing out the campaign. Not that I don't care about this campaign, it's I really just don't want to screw anything up. And then we get to uh, check out some Mandate of Heaven content. So weird, let's uh, go ahead and just start moving. Uh, so this army is ready to go. Uh, I think we'll just snake up through the, the river here, see how far we can go. I'm actually gonna go as, literally as far as I can. I not really sure. Oh, there it is. Maybe we'll just get to here. Can we hop on land? Yes. All right. So we'll head that way. This dude will take over this. Heaven rewarded our passion. This belongs to There we go. Um, we're going to, I, I don't know if this guy recalled or is in ambush mode. Um, so I'm going to move here, I guess ambush mode. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to start marching back, I suppose. Because this guy's probably going to take our silk, silk Trader again, which is really annoying. Attack! Are we... Says Pyrrhic Victory, but we're going to go ahead and delegate. When and Pyrrhic Victory. Lost 1,300 guys. Um, we'll take this... Oops, 700 gold for this person. She must be famous. Be Occupy. Faction destroyed. Yellow. Yellow turbans. Fantastic. All right, so you're going to sit in that city old guy can take a break sit in that city you're gonna march way over here just to be on the edge for whenever war eventually breaks out on this side um it's a yellow turban dude up there Let's see you can keep on moving taking over territories you shall continue your march to chen You, um, you know, these two actually, how far until, so three turns, how long it will it take you to get down here? Three, three turns, but we can get to the river. I think I'm going to bring, I was going to march on this city, but these guys, these two are getting really close. I think I really just want to try and challenge the throne over here. So let's go back. Force march. All right, you two guys, you're gonna head down here, head down here. All right, you are just going to find easy targets. It's a level two town. I highly doubt it's even guarded. All right, we can get on this land. Can probably reach that next turn. And you, sir, shall continue uh, attacking here, and we can just push through and work on finish finishing off this um, Ma, Ma Chao's faction here. Leo Biao will pinch from this side. Um, so the other thing I was contemplating, I was really hesitant to do this, um, but I did get a suggestion in the comments to annex the Han, and I really didn't want to because... Um, you know, corruption would go crazy, but I kind of like the idea of annexing them and so, uh, recruiting an army right here because I can't recruit anything right here. And 
you know, it would take another like eight turns to get another army down here. But if I annex them, recruit it here, I think it'd be ready in like two turns or something. Um, so by the time these three guys get down here and challenge all this, I'd already have another army over here kind of killing stuff and, and marching on the city. Um, of course, that would make us make everyone think we're treacherous and I'd actually have to liberate uh, this vassal, actually both my vassals over here. Otherwise, they would just declare independence and that would be a huge pain in the butt. Um, so I kind of maybe want to maybe do that, but I might wait another couple turns. Um, okay, all those guys moved, um, and I think I just want to quickly hit that one, not going to do that, and hit that one. I think there was another corruption building somewhere, maybe not, I am going, is this the, yeah, that's, that one. So we are going to upgrade this just for more garrison. And I think at that, we're just going to save the rest of our money here. Let's turn that way. I actually want to look at, look at our relationship real quick. The kingdom of song. I have no business God, he hates traitors. us. He hates us a lot. feel like he's going to declare war on us pretty much at any any point in time here. All right, everyone's moved. I think we're good there. Uh, got about a billion notifications to get through. Okay, um, let's go ahead and, and turn. Well, this is a predicament. So if we reject, the Han Empire is no longer our vassal. If we accept, we're at war with the Kingdom of Song. And I have like three Leo Bay armies sitting in my territory. I think I'm gonna reject. Deal broken. We go from respected to respected. <laughs> All right, we're losing our silk trader. Yeah, we kind of knew that was gonna happen. Um, I'm really sad about losing the Han Empire as a vassal. To be honest, I was really hoping to finish the game with the Han intact. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go to peace with you. So one thing that I think really needs to change in this game, and I don't know that it ever will, is this right here. Like the fact that a faction can declare war on a vassal instead of whoever the vassal leader is just doesn't make sense to me. Especially if you're guaranteeing, you know, autonomy. Um, you know, they should have to de declare war on the main faction and the vassal um, it would just make more sense that way the you know they take more into account the w repercussions of declaring war on the Han like he doesn't necessarily want to go to war with me because I'm you know I'm pretty sure I'm the number one power even with all of his vassals so he basically gets to you know g get out of jail free card to make the Han no longer my my vassal um, we liberated them And we lost our silk trader over here. More war. Oh, did pretty much everyone declared war on the Han now? Okay. <laughs> well, sorry, Han. Um, just kind of, kind of let you get your butt kicked now. Holy moly! It is real hard to move over here. Um, you know, how far can you move? You can make it all the way to the end. Maybe I'll let you worry about the horse pasture, and I'm gonna move you this way. Still can't see the city, though. All right, let's see what our relationship with the Han is. Do they hate us? I might declare war on them too. No, they still like us. Still our trade partner. Greetings. I wonder if I can get them back just by trading them some of these crappy territories. And then everyone will basically stop.
declaring war on them or undeclare war or however you want to call it go to peace with them forced peace is that enough um okay this we will do oh they rejected oh no <laughs> oh that's even worse holy cow okay um maybe they did just go to want to they did just want to go to war with us okay well I'm was not prepared for that at all hmm is there any way I can get these guys Welcome. not to go to war with us I mean, Leo Bay is like right. the only. What can I give him to do this? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna completely load this up. Take all the stuff. Do you need food? You need food. Uh, this is all just like nothing. Yeah, there's almost just like no way that I'm gonna be able to talk him into this. I can't even give those away. I have to give it away on this side. This is like my good stuff on this side. So I have to be bordering over here? I can't give him my tool makers. Can't give up Chen. I can't give him any territory. That's really annoying. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to end up having to go with war with them. Next turn, everyone's going to declare war on us. Hmm. Well, we at least will have one turn to kind of prepare. We need to... Oh, I forgot about assignments. Alright, so we definitely need to raise an army right here. That's... I keep hitting the wrong button. Alright, um, let's do Archer, Archer, Recruit, Crossbow, Crossbow, Trebuchet, Trebuchet, Pearl Dragon, Pearl Dragon, and then I think one, two, whoops. Okay. Um, yeah, we got to deal with Leo Bay relatively quickly here. Oh, hey. Look, it's Sao Sao. Sao Sao's alive. He joined the Kingdom of the Song. Okay. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. I really don't know if it was worth it getting the, the Han back as a vassal. Let's see what peace looks like with Choose you. Your words wisely. Not you. I wanted Kingdom of Song. I was like, why can't we go to peace? Minus 88. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. We're actually not at war with any of these guys. You want Shu is out here, like in the open, though. I'm going to go back after him. Oh, there's Mateng. We cannot reach him. It's really annoying. Alright, you we're gonna figure out where you're gonna go in just a second. Hold the center. I'm probably gonna lose every trade agreement I have, so I am not gonna get the next one here. You oh. Okay, well we're gonna lose that. But I guess we're still gonna march this way. Law must rule. Um, I think I need to force march you in this direction. Five turns, yeesh. Hopefully no one comes down from this side. 
Oh, there's that guy. Okay, well, we're gonna go here. Maybe we can cut him off. That'd be kind of cool. And then two turns will be down here. I need to end this, like, much quicker than my original plan. Oh, that's a person. Can we take this over? We can. Alright, we'll delegate that. This guy's just gonna target easy things. Probably not even cities. We're just gonna take stuff over. Hostage sent. Cool. It's legendary. Alright, everyone's moved except for the old guy. Um, we could we could just go in the water here and then keep our options open. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We could come up here and ambush Yuan Shao on this side. That'd be pretty cool if we could like capture him, execute him or something. Alright, um do we want to recruit another army, I guess is a question. I'm, I'm really nervous about this right here. If Lu Bu declares war on us, well, if his vassal asks us to, he has th almost three armies sitting right on top of us. We're not prepared for this at all. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise an army here. Oh, we can only re recruit two, two out of three. Um, I guess we get this guy, with conviction and, strike true. and maybe this guy. Channel passion. Some pearl dragons. Some melee guys. Uh, we'll definitely get rid of the horse archers. I do not think they're very good at all in this game. I think we're going to do some spearmen. <clears throat> and then next turn we'll we'll finish this one off. And this will be a good army to pair up with him. And even if we lose our seat, we can kind of quickly get it back. Um, and then we can, I guess, take over Leo, Leo Bay's... Oh, he has three, three territories over here. Um... This will be done soon, so we can hopefully bring them down, push through, finish this. And even if we lose some on, over here on the east, like we'll be able to push back um, relatively soon. We just were kind of not in position. I mean, we do have some guys here that will be able to take some territory and do some fighting. A uh, little worried about all his vassals here on the side, though. Uh, I think we have some points to spend real quick. All right, our administrator... Um, doing administrative things. Here's some, some extra income. Perfect. Whoops. You will do that because you, you are not a general or anything. And you might not be. Oh, we have, we have three assignments we need to do that I keep forgetting about. Let's just very quickly do this. Uh, okay, so you're doing money there already. What's good here? Industry. I think industry is even better here, though. Yeah, industry. Oh, you don't. Okay. Peasantry. Oh, we don't. We don't have any industry ones we can do. We don't even have any money ones we can do. Well, construction is like useless to us now. Peasantry is useless here. Like, don't have any good peasantry. Okay. Chen, we can do a peasantry one. I can do this. Another 100% food from farming. I guess might as well, because we could very well lose some, some farm here. Oh, and then here's an industry one. How did I miss that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, are we ready to hit the end turn button? Kind of makes me nervous to do it now that we're literally at war with everyone. Let's look at the map real quick. 
Yeah, here's here's our friends. Enemies. 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 <laughs> Probably soon to be more enemies with all of his vassals here. Alright, let's let's just hit end turn, see what see what happens. Sure, man. I feel bad for you at this Our point. Talks are done. Someone just died. Who who died? The guy I just recruited died? Okay. <laughs> um, that's unfortunate. Let's Hmm. Well, four. Uh I have to recruit someone basically no matter what. Hong Rong. Probably definitely a spy. Kingdom of Song? No. Ma Chao. Um, I'd rather this guy. Elusive or intimidating? Immune to scaring, that's pretty fancy. Mm, maybe elusiveness. Sure. Okay, so that guy died. He was 71. I didn't realize he was 71 when I recruited him. Um, now the question is... Did Yuan Shao not pull in all his vassals to our fight? That's extremely lucky for us. How how and why? Do we have to? I wonder if we can even possibly do this. Here, have a bunch of crap we're not using. He's very f poor in food. Um, what else can we do? Just curious. Minus seven. We can definitely we can definitely do this. What would, what would it take? Oh, he. We could just give him straight money. Cash on hand. That's a ton. All right, let's pop that one away. What's this ancillary? Forest skin. Could do this. Support his independence. Give him. Oh, that'll cut a tiny bit into our thing. But I mean, if we could get him to declare independence, that'd be a nice little distraction for him. Then maybe we could work on Leo Bay doing the same. They don't really care about the other ones. Hmm. I'm going to try it. It might be worth it or it might be a waste of time. Basically, I'd rather do the. Payments per turn because if you uh, Yuan Shao pulls him in to attack us, agreeable terms, then it'll cancel that. Um, so I'm not I'm not sure that that just forces him automatically to declare independence. It's just he is more likely. I think that's the way it works. All right, um, I think we can reach this dude. We cannot reach this dude. Okay, well that's annoying can't reach that either okay so next turn we'll do some stuff over here okay you are still chasing this dude for forever chase him here I guess we'll hop on this side and try and help chase this guy down plus he needs to replenish and then he can very easily hop back on the river and head back over this way maybe All right, you guys are hanging out there. You'll be replenished or mustered one more turn. 
Unify in one direction. All right, we need to recruit one more thing over here. We can just do another sentinel. Conserve spirit. Get those trebuchets. Crossbow, and then we'll change these to regular archers. I don't even know if she has flaming shot. She does have all the things. Um, I have a bow. Good job. Oh, we need to give that to someone. Do you want it? Yeah. There you go. Remain poised. All right, you. Huh? They didn't attack. Let's move all the way down, I guess. They're kind of poised to attack whenever we need to. There. I feel like as soon as we actually do damage to Yuan Chao, he's going to call all his vassals. Hmm. I'd almost like to cancel our military access with Leo Bay so he gets out of our territory. We do have these two armies getting close over here, though. You can go ahead and start moving. Alright, where did that guy go? Oh, here? Alright, so let's, um, let's get down here. Pure folly. I refuse. Alright, these guys, let's get to the edge down here. I really don't want to get stuck in the water. Because there's no battles, it's just auto-delegate. And they never go well. So I want to make sure I can fully cross the river. I might have to come over here. Draw the many together as a whole. For reunification. Yeah, because if we move from here, we'll just get stuck right in the water. I guess we need to inch over here. Cross here, and then we can either try and take them on, take this town, or what, whatever we want to do. This guy's the same. Maybe get close to that one. Be nice to take that spice. Can kind of maybe do a pincer move over here. Get rid of all of them. Not sure if this guy's chasing us down or what. Balance of power is in our favor. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Pyrrhic victory. I'll I'll take it. The people's voice cannot be silent. They lost double R's. Uh, ransom's fine. Replenishment. All right, so they took a took a huge blow. And we can just come back up here, and we're already going to be replenishing two turns until max four turns. So by the time we get down, I think I want to move down here to the rice paddy. They'll be full again. So I'm a, I'm okay with that delegate. And you are still replenishing. Okay. Okay, yep, that guy died. Um, do we want to... We're already down to 6k here. So I don't think we can really recruit another army. We're already... We're almost at our cap. That'll leave two more where we can, like, emergency recruit an army. Um, yeah, you guys are not going to move. You can move. Don't want to spend all our money, so I guess... Whoop. I guess we'll just come over here and wait. Um, we have a point. We'll go this way. And I want to get flexibility. Okay, actually, sorry. Did you... Oh, I thought... No, just kidding. Kingdom of Ba, this is a maybe. How how big of a maybe? Speak, Negative eighty-three is basically a no. Me. Can't confederate. Support vassal. Who's who's your Pfft, whatever. Oh, we have an open trade. Who are you? No, you're one of his vassals. I I need to do it on this one. Our patience is thin.
All right, that's an extra 1300. Perfect. All right, let's hit the end turn button. Decisive defeat. Okay, we lost horse pastures. Man, Ma Ting's faction. All right, we lost the settlement. Was liberated by Dong Min. Of course they were. Exquisite weapon. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Man, I cannot catch this person. We're just going to march on the city. Right, let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, it's not even defended. All right, we'll go there. You will take over this. Celebrate! Our victory was just. Alright, um, you will not be able to reach anything, and I think we could probably just auto-delegate that next turn, and then we can go to peace with them. Of course, it's actually peace tied with this one, too. Man, I cannot catch that dude. He's, like, already off here in the shadows. Why's my guy so slow? Oh, wow. You can actually reach. How can you reach over here? To war. Reject corruption. Twenty six percent chance we we capture um, Yuan Shao. Uh, decisive victory way in our favor. I mean, we have to delegate. Hey, we gained a thing. All right, we got one of his guys. Um, we'll just take him. It's fine. Actually, task. we'll take both of them. To action. And your money. Marching. Nurture passion. Kill them all. Victory open. We wounded you on show. Okay. And we'll take the money. Alright, so now I feel bad I brought him over. That's two full armies. We cannot deal with three, three full armies. Ooh. Okay, maybe we go back. I kind of want to forget about Ma Ting right now. These two armies will get freed up. They'll come down here and go from the top, take back over what we lost. Um, and I, I think I want to redirect all three of these guys to this front over here. Okay. Um, so we just got friends, 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 friends. Book of Documents. Yeah. I mean, it, that would be a lot better early game. Oh, is that guy free? I think we'll recruit him. He's part of the Han Empire, who's now our vassal. Trade route lost. Okay, yeah, because we lost that stupid uh, horse pasture. If I try and take these two armies through here, like it, it will literally take like a decade. Like it's it's quicker to go around the stupid mountain than to try and go through there. Um, so yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna just move these guys to try and fight some battles over here and just bring these two armies down. Once we're done with Dum Dum over there, we can just take over from the top and work our way down. I think that's a fine enough plan. So you need to come, I guess we'll go through this way. Embarking. I cannot. This guy can be on this side of the river and this guy can head over from, actually you can head down the, oh no, Exhaustion head down the river. We meant to go in the water, but I misclicked there. That's fine. All as 
Okay, well, Leo Bay kind of vacated my area. Um, so I think I'm actually going to pull this guy back to Chen. And we have a couple armies on this side marching towards us. So maybe we'll come back this way so we can counteract them. And that army is sitting on our capital. Great. Hmm, where are they going? There's another one. Let's see if we can cross. Alright, we can fully cross there. I think she moved up from... I thought she was sitting on her city down here. Rest is needed for focus. I do not think I'm going to be able to cross here. Because that guy's in the way. I think I'm just going to come here and... Oh, I did not... No, I do. I have enough points. Why can't I ambush? Oh, because I started in Force March. Let's get out of Force March. Let's come here and ambush. And you can just kind of come back in the zone. Alright, so we'll have to wait for him to move before we can cross... Oh, wait... Under one banner. Lead with yeah, we'll have to wait for him to move so we can use that passageway to get across. Alright, you're going to stay there probably forever. You're going to hang out there. Okay, so we have a reform to pick. Should probably go ahead and just pick some type of, I don't know... Uh, this will give us immediate money. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and get that one. Trade influence. Um, I don't know that any of these will give us a, a major, well, plus 50% trade influence. More trade influence. Not sure which would be better, 50% trade influence or minus 20% salary. Let's try this one. That's fine. Uh, it probably gave us barely anything. Oh well. Oh, you are able to move. Got some more more armies over here. Okay. Um, I think we still keep marching this way though. Couldn't quite make it. Um, I'm actually going to trade these two to the Han for some cash. This tool maker right here. Can we... Alright. Uh, let's see how much money they'll give us for this. I would like a lump sum, please. Let's try something silly. $6,000. Oh, they'll take it. $7,000? Not quite. All right, $6,800 for those two ter territories. There you go. Goodwill stabilizes relations. Just want to keep the uh, the treasure chest full, uh, just in case. You know, in fact, I could actually keep doing this, and whatever I take over from the Kingdom of Ba, I can just sell off to the Han. That might be a way to make sure we get to our 95. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Still have 15k. My lord, I answer your request. Ooh, another, another nice tunic. Here you go, random dude. Also, here you go. I bid you welcome, my lord. Okay, um...
quick deal. Oh, we can form a coalition? No, we cannot. Create a vassal. Uh, probably not. Alright, I think we're ready for the end turn button. Alright, so they just took over that copper mine. I think there's like four armies right there. Sao Sao. I haven't seen that face in a long time. Oh. We ambushed him. Uh, I think we are going to delegate. Free them all. The goal is fixed. Okay, well, that army's dead. So, yep, we lost the copper mine. Spy activity, larceny. That's not cool. Stolen item. Two axe. He vassalized Zay wrong. Jerk. Alright, I'm a little confused down here in my little ambush. Why... Wait. I thought this was a full army. So I had two I had two spies in this army for Kingdom of Song. Or for whoever. That's um interesting, I guess, to say the least. Huh. I shall not waver. Well, I need to recruit more. I cannot recruit here. Dang, that's uh, pretty bananas. Alright, let's get across. Troops. Not sure if you can actually follow or not. Gather your strength. Marching. Okay, that's fine. If you, if you can't, can't make it, don't get stuck in the water. That's all I ask. Alright, let's work on... Why can't you move? There we go. Let's work on moving this way. Alright, we'll take that trading port. Um, actually, I probably could have gone in the water and hopped over there. I just wasn't sure if anyone was sitting there or not. Okay. Close victory. And we'll just delegate. I mean, we'll get it. It's fine. Those who oppose harmony must be crushed. Okay, we did it. Of course, he's probably going to try and siege that city, so we'll force march down there with this guy. Start moving with that guy. This is fine. I'm not I'm not going to touch it. Don't care. Um, This guy is back. This guy is driving me insane. Alright, so I'm going to move here, and just kidding, I didn't leave enough action points. They can't make it that far anyway. Oh, they can. Alright, move back to the city. Alright, I feel like Lu Bu is being wasted just trying to chase this guy. Silk traders. Hmm. I don't think I can afford to take all of these armies away. He's gonna cross here. Moving out. I'm gonna move this guy all the way back to Liu Yang. Alright, these this guy's close. I can actually attack that person, I think. Oh, I can I definitely can attack this person. Uh 
Uh, we'll do the speed. As I walk this land of homes and families, I see China's future. All right, we will get as close as possible. And then... Oh no, we were... Mm, we were in force march. Possible. That could possibly be bad. Alright, let's just go up here. Alright, you're actually just going to cross here. And head up this way. You guys can be buddies and defend, you know, take care of those guys. God, what do I do with you? I'm just going to... Uh, whatever. I'm going to force march to the Silk Trader. And just pinch him. These guys will take care of him. And yeah, it, it's fine. Justice cannot be denied. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. Lots of armies down here. <laughs> couple, couple half armies trying to trying to move on the stuff that we took over. All right, let's get some more ca cash from the Han Empire, large town, and rice paddy. They give me another six k. All right, close enough. That's fine. Another 6,700. It's like we're restoring the Han Empire piece by piece. All right, how are we doing over here? I cannot. Restore heart. I almost feel like I want to move you, but... Liu Bei, like, just completely abandoned, which is good. He's no longer in my territory. Tell me where Cao Cao's going. And you cannot steal anything. I want. I just want you to come back. You're, like, not doing anything for me at this point. Maybe we do try and stick someone in the Kingdom of Ba so we can keep an eye on everything down there. How about one of these idiots we just got? All right, try and go spy. Good luck. Point as one. I almost want to recall this guy, but actually, once we take over this, we can just fully recruit to thirty-two thousand dollars. Here's some points. All right, definitely reach here. You don't have reach, do you? Oh, you do have reach. Okay, never mind. So I wasted that point on the other guy, but that's okay. Uh, just the simple one, since you're just doing commanding. There you go. All right. Uh, one last thing. Anything? Going once. All right, let's uh, intern. <laughs> poor Han territory, or poor Han Empire lost their territory. I sold them. Spy captured. Jeez, how many spies were in my service? Leo, spy of Leo Bay. Um, could just employ him, and then we keep him essentially. Yeah, whatever. Everyone's spying on us. <laughs> Fighting Yuan Shu, he doesn't have any territory. Alright, uh... New mount. Okay, great. Alright, let's take a look. 
Right, we're not going to move anything because we just started a fresh turn, but and we're going to end the episode here. But I would want to do a nice little recap. Um, pretty chaotic. I know that's a uh, pretty sloppy gameplay too. And we ended up accidentally at war with Kingdom of Song. And somehow he's not requested any of his vassals to to join the fight. I tried to pay Kong Rong to declare independence and he, he hasn't yet. Um, gave him a bunch of crap to do it. Um, we pushed out all the way to the western border. Um, Han Sui no longer has any territory. We're chasing him down and then we'll finally push through with uh, Ma Ting. Um, Ma Ting faction be done with that. And uh, then once once Ma Ting is, is finished, um, we'll probably have two armies roll through this because we are at war with people over here. We'll re repurpose one of them on this front, um, and we're kind of just moving all our armies over here to intercept a lot of this Kingdom of Song activity. This guy's getting chased down, which is not good. Um, wow, you can't even make it to the city. You're just going to have to go hide in the city, or you can kind of ambush someone, which might be a better idea. If the ambush is unsuccessful, then this guy's basically just dead. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so like I said, we're kind of in a time crunch, so we'll be delegating a lot of stuff, playing a little um, loose, but that's okay. We're, we're getting through this campaign, and then we can move on to the Mandate of Heaven, which is super cool so far. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.